Welcome to Daron Yoga. Pyramid pose, Parshva Tonasana. A wonderful pose to stretch the hamstrings or the back of the front leg. Just a really healthy, good pose. I'm going to step my feet apart. Um, it's a little shorter than maybe the Warrior II variation, so it's about a leg's distance, but not much more, similar to triangle. And my back foot eventually will be parallel to the back of the mat, but for most of us, we'll turn it facing forward. This will help square the hips front over the front left leg. If you find that it's kind of wobbly, by all means, take your stance a little wider. So right foot more to the right, left foot more to the left, and then it's far easier to feel strong and steady. I'm gonna find somewhere in between. So I've got more or less heel to heel or heel to instep. I've got a slight angle with the foot, but not very much. I'm starting with the hands on the hips to really create that square of the hips. Not only am I looking to have both hips square, but I'm also looking to not have the right side, in this case, stick up the side that's not with the leg, right? So I'm gonna work on bringing the hip down and forward. The leg, leg is left leg is forward again. Right hip down, right hip forward. Then I'm gonna lift a bit in the belly, create length in the spine. The arm variation, you're welcome to hold the elbows behind the back. If available, taking the reverse prayer behind the back, reverse namaste. I need to wiggle my arms up a little bit, so do whatever you can. And if it doesn't hurt the wrist, open up the elbows a little further back. Here I go, lengthening, creating space. And with that length, I'm starting to reach forward. As I come forward, my hips are moving back, right? My hips are moving back, almost like I'm doing a little bit of a back bend, rotating my right hip forward. Maybe this is it. I'm not locking in the front leg, but slightly micro-bending. Maybe keep going. Gaze slightly forward, eventually coming all the way, belly down, chest down, maybe chin down, gaze down. As I come up, I'm starting to lengthen, staying there for at least five, maybe 10, 20 breaths. And then coming up again with as much length as possible, reaching up. So again, remember the main things are to create as much length in the spine, trying to rotate the hips, and if needed, adjusting foot facing more forward a little easier, foot parallel outer edge to the outer edge of the mat, a little, e a little harder to square the hips here. Practice, enjoy, see you soon, thank you.